Welcome to Insta Chat with the Journalist. Um, it's Andy Le here, aka the Journalist. And today, you know, I've, I'm chatting to my man, Man K, who is a businessman in the music field, in the music game. And uh, he'll be just sharing some insights about what he does. Now, Man K has played a very big role in making sure that Amapiano is successful, um, you know, in Soweto, particularly. Uh, DK, you know, so he's the man that understands the music and he's also a DJ. So, yeah, I can't wait to chat to Man K. Yo, Man K, where you at, bro? Where you at? I'm here, Baba. Uh, hey, who's it? Who's it, Man K? Short channel is thousand, bro. Ah, good, good, man. Good, uh, good to talk to you, brother. How are things? Thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, man, you know, so we're doing this interview because, you know, you're, you're, you do a lot of work behind the scenes. And I thought, you know, it's important that you also get to understand what you do. You're a DJ as well. So tell us about Men K, man. Who's Men K? And, and, you know, what do you do, bro? Uh, Can you hear me, dog? I think the network, the ne I think the network was 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 uh, bizarring us for there for a second. Um, the question that I asked. Okay, that, so uh, Ben K is uh, is a DJ record label owner and a music producer. Yeah, I run a record label slash distribution company called Black Vision Media. Started the company in 2010. Yeah, 2010, and I've been pushing, bro, and it's steadily growing. We're starting to dominate now in the Amo piano field, so uh, that's all I can share for now. 2010, you started your company. Yeah, hey, that's a while, man, you know. And uh, yeah. I'm not sure where we met. Where did we meet, bro? Because I know you've always been around. Uh, yeah, bro, we met through uh, KG and Pizizi. I remember I wanted you to hook up Team and Express with... Uh, with the performance on your on one of your shows you were hosting, so that's how we met initially. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah, man. So tell me, bro. You know, tell me about the music business because, it, it, you know, it, it always looks so interesting. Some people say it's difficult. Some people say you know it's it's glamorous. You know, like what goes in into making an artist in your experience. Yo, in my in my experience, bro, it's it's, yo, it's not easy. I can say that, but it needs patience. It needs you to have a plan, like a proper strategy, and it needs you to at least have uh, like connect to people who are in the in the music industry. Also, people who like you who run these kinds of initiatives and podcasts uh, need you to know people from radio. It needs you to know DJs. So it needs a lot of work, and I can say it needs a lot of patience. So it takes a lot. To know and understand music and the music business as a, as a whole. Yeah. So, so tell me about, you know, some of, uh, you know, the artists that you've worked with over the years that you've kind of like, you know, helped to, sh to shape their careers. Did you hear that, bro? This network, man. Uh, ish, I don't know what's happening with the network, guys. Uh, apologies about that. But, yeah, um, I'm trying to have a chat with my man, Men K, about the, you know, the, the, the behind the scenes of the music industry. He's been running his company since 2010. And then you know he's still at it. So so yeah yeah man, we lost you for a second there. So my question was you know yeah. can you tell us about some of the uh, you know artists that you've kind of like helped build over the years. Uh, I've helped build a few artists. One artist that I can say I'm proud of and that's really making it in the industry is T Man Express. Uh, I worked with T-Man uh, way before he even started Ama Piano. I can say I introduced him into the Ama Piano field. 
it was not easy but with his vocal ability and his ability to make beautiful music it wasn't such a hard task to do to get him out there so uh, i think i can say team express is one of the guys that i've managed to put out there i have also worked with guys like kg and bizizi when they started with kokota uh, piano i was there trying to get them gigs trying to put their song on radio uh, just making sure that they get enough exposure So yeah those are the people that I can say that I I've, I've helped build their career and I'm proud of them actually. Yeah man and 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 and, and you know you, you're also an artist yourself you know. Uh you're yeah. a DJ you just you know mm-hmm. there's a project that you you know that you that, that that's called Ama Piano Save My Soul or is it Save My Life? Tell me about that project. It's Ama Piano Save My Soul. So yeah, I've been a, an artist and there was a moment that I quit making music and I started uh this uh, going into artist management and stuff. But you know people always say hey bro when are you coming back with miss your music and stuff. Bro? So I was like ah, let me let me just go back and focus on me being an artist again. So I came up with this initiative called Ama Piano Save My Soul. It's not this is not a project for me. It's like it's something I'm trying to do for the people. Well, because we are going through a difficult time with this COVID-19. So uh, I'm a piano save my soul is that it's a corporate social responsibility release that aims at like uh, giving back to the people. So with this release, which is dropping Friday, the 11th, uh, I'm aiming at donating all the royalties, 80% of the royalties to to unprivileged people like uh, the Twena. The Maybe it will help, uh, depending on how much we make, but maybe it can also create jobs. I want to start maybe teaching kids how to make music, teaching kids how to, how to DJ, uh, teaching other artists about the music business. So that's the whole plan with this. Uh... Why, why, why did you quit being an artist, man? Why did you, why did you quit? Hey, but it's not easy. Hey, it's not easy. Because before this, I was, I, I, I used to do Afro, like Afro music. Oh. So I used to work with guys like, uh, I was signed to Spirit Motion, they would have played Motion, and started working with labels like Nulu Music, Anane Vega. But you know, when you, you, when you feel like your music is not taking you anywhere, it somehow demotivates you at the end. Oh. So I was like, demotivation, and I thought like, ah, this maybe, it's, I'm not cut out for this. Oh. So I just stopped making music and then even worse my studio got broken into banganza everything I lost my project uh, and then I, I I almost fell out of love with it and then so that's how I stopped making music I think I stopped like five years ago or seven years ago somewhere there Damn man look we, we're glad you're back bro because you know the music thing is something inside <laughs> you you know you can't You, you, you can't yeah. escape it but yeah that's 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 interesting man so you used to do afro house that's crazy man yeah you never told me this like <laughs> the first time hey, bro, i thought you <laughs> i thought you knew because that's like chicago know me from way back so they know that i've been doing this before it's just that maybe i was not so exposed but i've been working bro i've been doing music for a very long time all right i know cool man okay so you know the project is dropping friday Uh can you tell us like what can people expect from it like you know uh what what features are in there what is it really you know what what type of sound do you have in there Uh people can expect like beautiful music I must say Uh it's like what they call private school piano because you know in Soweto that's the whole movement we're doing Uh on the project I worked with guys like 2SKSA I worked with Pro Soul the DJ I work with this wonderful uh I'm a piano vocalist called Phil Harmonic and I also work with Snena who is a beautiful vocalist also the project consists of six beautiful songs and people should check it out bro and I I think maybe people should support this because it's for a great initiative it's a beautiful mu- uh, movement I'm trying to build and I'm trying to get other I'm a piano kids to jump on the movement and let's grow this thing together okay Yeah, no, sounds dope, man. And then business-wise, in terms of like your agency, your company, um, you know, what are the plans? You know, what what, what can people expect from 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 your 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 company as far as music is concerned? 
I lost you a bit there. Can you please repeat that again? Uh, no, I'm saying when it comes to your company, like what can people expect, you know, when it comes to your agency? What are the plans for, for music this year? Uh, Music-wise, bro, we're going to be bringing a lot of new amateur piano artists in the, into the field. Uh, I'm proud to say that we are getting our first plaque as a company for Bakole by Joe 729 and Young Stana, which, is, which has reached uh, 5 million streams, so it's certified double platinum. So we're yeah. expecting that pack soon. And we have a lot of upcoming uh, I'm a piano artists because we, what Black Vision Media is about is a big, it's about giving a platform to upcoming artists, like to showcase their talents and their music to, to the entire world. So we will bring a lot, of, a lot of hits this year. So that's what I can say now. Yo, man, man, K, it was so dope catching up with you, bro, and getting to, a, you know, uh, understand your story better. Uh, thank you so much for your time, man. And, uh, yeah, you know, your story is really inspiring, bro, you know, because you ended up, you know, you didn't give up because you were still giving back, you know, with management in the industry. And, you know, um, your company, man, you know, Black Vision Media, I know is going to do great things to come. Is there anything anything else that you just might want to add so that people can, can know about out there? Mm, I'll be doing uh, my launch pretty soon. So people can follow uh, the Black Vision, the, uh, Black Vision Media page on Facebook. It's Black Vision Media 24. Uh, I also have my own fan page, Men K, Men K. So people can check me out there and then they can find out more about my plans for the, for the entire year. All right. I uh, know, cool, man. Thank you so much, Men K, man. And uh, keep pushing, bro. Ne? Thank you, bro. Thank you. All right. Shout, shout. Shout, dog.